Hey guys, Johnny Mac here. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video um, about shotgun ammo. How much do you need? How much shotgun ammo do you stockpile, personally? Um, I think it depends on a lot of factors, whether you hunt um, or are you using it just for defense. Um, uh, a number of things like that. Also, there's a ton of versatility within shotgun shells. Um, you know, three inch shells, two and three quarters. You know, I got 12. I have 20 gauge as well. Um, slugs, buck, bird loads, um, target loads, all have their place. All have their use. Um, also. Uh, there are many uses for shotgun. Defense, like I said, hunting, and um, not only that, but uh, survival. Um, even if you're not a hunter now, you know, during a SHTF kind of scenario, you'd have to become a hunter. So, <clears throat> um, so how much do you need? Uh, well, that's a difficult question. Um, I think the old school of thought was you just have to have enough, a couple of boxes of buck for defense and slugs for hunting, um, or, you know, dub loads or, uh, duck loads or for birds, um, pheasant loads. So, I, you know, and generally I think that people kept just enough that, that, you know, on hand. Um, but now that shotgun is a very popular defense uh, uh, weapon, my primary defense weapon for home defense, um, then you're looking at keeping more, in my opinion. Um, when I first got into stockpiling ammo, um, it was always, you know, 2,000 rounds for your 5.56 and 10, you know, 5,000 rounds for your 22 shotgun 150 rounds or shotgun 300 rounds um, I used to keep about three four hundred uh, but I've been through two panic buys and I now keep about 1500 rounds total uh, now that includes everything that includes um, bird um, target lots of buck lots of um, slugs and um, you know, even some of this uh, special critical defense kind of stuff by Hornady. Um, there's all sorts of versatility for shotguns. Um, my, I, I keep 20 gauge and 12 gauge for defense and also for hunting. And as far as defense, yeah, you need to stockpile it if it's going to be your primary home defense weapon. If you're hunting, you can stockpile that generally you don't need as much but you know in this day and age when it's scarce you know last panic buy before this covid thing didn't have any 12 gauge buckshot or slugs but they had lots of 20 gauge so i stocked up on 20 gauge at that point um and 20 gauge is also good during a scarcity because you can find you can find like a number three buck and you can find slugs in 20 gauge because normally people are just stocking out the 12 gauge so you got to keep that too so my numbers went up as soon as i got a 20 gauge in addition to my 12. Um, so like i said i keep about 1500 rounds um, of everything and because uh, you just don't know anymore you, you don't know how much you're going to be when you're going to be able to get it i mean during this covid thing the stores in my state aren't even open so um, and it's, I, you know, I, I, depending where you live, you can still get it. I think usually it's a, the most plentiful ammo around, but not, it was, that wasn't the case during the last scare, at least for me. So I say the old adage of stockpiling, you know, 150 rounds for, of buck and slugs for defense, and a couple boxes for bird hunting or, you know, slugs for deer. I think those days are gone. I think you got to stockpile more. I'm not going to go crazy, but I, without really even meaning to, I've ended up with about 1,500 rounds, 1,200 to 1,500. So that's good for now. Um, 
<clears throat> you know, it's like any other round. It's like your five, five, six, or your twenty-two. Um, I wouldn't treat it any differently. Okay. Thanks for watching, Johnny Mac out.